Hello, I'm back again with a short tutorial to help you resolve some of your issues. And one major issue wherein you are not able to enable record function for your participant. So even as I am recording now, let me disable recording so that I'm able to uh, give you the, the entire one. So consider you as a teacher, Karmal Jammu, and I am a student or a participant from the school. Now, once you have started the class, you would want to allow record for me. Now, in normal cases, for most of you, allow record is already available. And with one click, you can allow record and proceed. However, in certain cases, there are some of you who face this issue who do not see this option. There's always a workaround for any of these problems and do not panic. All what you need to do is you have an option on top, which is called make host. Meaning to say, while you are the host, you are transferring your hosting rights or to me, which means I'm going to be the lead person until I'm able to do the recording. And this is again a matter of a few seconds. So how do you do it? You make me host. A dialogue pops up. Do you really want to? You can definitely say yes. Don't worry. And this can be with any of our office staff. And accordingly, you will know who it is. Now you have made me host. I would start the recording. On your screen, you will get a notification that I have started recording and will also have this recording button always beeping, but without disturbing you. Now remember, you are not the host. I am the host, backend. But you need not worry. Once I have started recording, I can go back onto my icons and make you host, which will mean that you are back as a host and you will get a confirmation that you are the host in this program. Now the recording continues till your class is over. And this is how, and this is so simple. Absolutely no problems. Now that I'm here with you, I would also want you to explore the settings a little more. Please remember that Zoom has come up with new version. So please do update so that it becomes easier for you. So this is the new version 5.0. Please update because there are a few security features more. Go to more and I would want you to explore some of these options. You are already familiar with waiting room. Now here is something called as screen share, like you share screens. But what is important is allow participants to share screen. In my case, it is disabled. You could also disable it because in enabling students can tend to or disable, or sorry, tend to share the screen and might even disturb. So I'm hopeful that these lessons or this short tip that I'm giving you would be beneficial for you. And just in case you have any doubts, do approaches and then we are there to help you. Remember, when you share your screen like whiteboard, please disable annotate so that it, it helps you and would also help you concentrate in your, in your class. So when you share a whiteboard, before you start writing anything, go to the settings again, go to meet settings. Here, it is already annotated, is closed, which means I am not getting any icon. So please remember that you do not allow annotations to be uh, taken or allow the rights for annotations so that there are no disturbance. Unless in certain classes I have seen that teacher is making children to draw on the screen, which is very good. So you need to see what is the intention of giving the share screen function or annotations. And accordingly, you can be wiser enough to use these settings. Great going. All the best.